Well, we're here with Andrew, he's the big boss here at Bolt. And just share with you guys, we just were a little lucky to find this hidden treasure right here in London. Andrew. Hi there, how you doing? You, man. No, pleasure no. to meet you. So, uh, for all of you who don't know, we just found about this place about two weeks ago. Lucky for us before we came here to London. And you have no idea what a cool place this is. If you love bikes, it's a must. You have to be in this place. So, if you can share with a little bit with the guys about about Bolt, how you started. She was telling me, Mariana was telling yeah. me about five years ago. Yeah, we started five years ago. There was a kind of revival of motorcycles and load of new custom bike culture coming out. And a lot of people were making stuff. There was a rise of independence, a lot of handcrafted stuff. And I felt that traditional motorcycle shops didn't really offer the kind of clothes or the kind of style or the quality that I wanted to showcase. So the idea with Bolt was to bring all these new brands together and kind of act as like a new type of motorcycle shop. I think key to it was to have a social angle. There's just, more than anything, it's about developing the community, both creatively and bringing people together and using the spaces that we have as a kind of place to hold parties, to do art events, to do ride outs, to do kind of all different things around the culture of motorcycling. So we do things from, we do mechanics courses where we teach people how to kind of look after and get involved in their own bikes. I think it's really important that just riding a bike's one thing, but being able to kind of get into the mechanics of it and have the confidence to look after that bike and know that if it breaks down, you can fix it. So we kind of try and do everything around the subculture of motorcycling to kind of keep it progressing, keep it creative and keep it moving forwards, really. Awesome. So, as you can see, this guy loves what he do, which is what we mainly always look in every brand we bring into the shop and very soon we will be having some of the Bolt's new collection he's just working on some very cool stuff that we we're lucky to see right now so what you were doing you say you were an office guy so before I, before you drop the suit um i used to be uh, the business manager for the barbican art center which was the biggest um, art center in europe um, and before that I used to work in charity, so originally I used to work in Mozambique where I used to ride a motorbike from village to village doing health care and looking after like, yeah, doing kind of development work. So a lot of different things, but I've always been involved in two wheels, whether motorcycles or vintage scooters. So I thought if I'm going to do something myself, it's got to be from the thing I'm passionate about. Yeah, lucky you, huh? Not so many people has a chance to do what they love, so this is why yeah. we already love this guy, you know? It takes some balls to leave the comfort zone and risk it everything. Life's pretty it, short, right? you gotta do what you wanna do. Life you know, is short, the so point. buy the bike, <laughs> buy the motorcycle, right? So, what's up with the name Bolt? How did um, it come from? I had to think of a name really quickly, and I always pick two confusing names, two complicated names, and this time I thought just the simplest thing possible. And I like the idea that a bolt is the most simplest thing, but it's a genius bit of design, the way it works. And bolts hold everything together on a motorbike, they hold everything together, bridges, everything. It's, it's the simple construction point that Keep has such an importance, yeah. Cool, cool. Well, man. Really yeah, nice to meet pleasure. you. Thanks for coming Thank down. Thank you for doing this for us. And guys, like we said, we're gonna share with you on the channel all the details about Bolt. And if you come to London, where are you located? Because it takes yeah. some time to find it. <laughs> we're located in Stoke Newington, which is um, quite central, but tricky to get to, but worth it when you get here. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. It takes about 15 minutes if you take a bus number 73 for central London and you will find this awesome place. So, cheers, quite safe. Later. We're still recording. Ah. Anyway, we have a guy who's gonna edit all this shit. Cool.